Hey everybody, Chance Priest here with your woe to news and update report. <laughs> I was supposed to do one of these once a week. Now, you know, y'all gotta remind me. Uh, hey, look, I did this once already and something happened with the video, so I'm not delaying it. I'm not like late. I, I had the video done. It, I couldn't get it to upload no matter what I did, so there's some kind of fatal flaw. So hey, whatever. I'm not doing it live because every time y'all talk to me, I want to just talk and I lose track of everything I want to say. So I'm just doing it like this. Um, okay, first things first. Uh, y'all hear me talk about plastic shortage all the time. Uh, uh, there is there is and has been a plastic so shortage since COVID. It has nothing to do with us. It has to do with the raw chemicals, something about the way they're stored in Houston and the COVID stuff and the regulations and blah, blah, blah. That's what they're telling us. Um, so, uh, we've been on, we've been using an alternative plastic for a couple of months and, uh, we don't expect to have re our regular plastic back. They told us August, but we've heard that it could be September. So that's what we're looking at. Um, the, the current plastic we're using is just fine. It's, 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 I'm not going to say it's as good, but it's damn close to what we've always used. The only difference is we can't use pigments, so we can't use any color in it. Um, I can do Carnival, no problem. I can do um, uh, EODs. Uh, they take a lot. They take about three times as long. They're about they're about a fifty percent success rate. But uh, I can still do those. So we're still doing stuff. It's just uh, that's the next thing that's got the Mugar Saga hung up. That's my next thing. Okay, Mugar Saga. Uh, we, we, this plastic problem is, 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 well, it started out as a problem with me and, and my engineering skills, <laughs> um, because I was, um, I thought I had the, the prototypes down and as we poured, we realized, man, we got to re, remold half of these and then that turned into just everything just wait and wait and wait and then of course the plastic shortage and then we've just been like, oh man, what are we going to do? So. Uh, our, our only alternative to this plastic shortage situation is fully paint the figures, uh, which is, it, it's totally cost prohibitive for us. So anyway, we'd be working our tails off to paint these figures and not make nothing, but I'm willing to do that, uh, to get y'all the stuff. So what we're going to do with the Mugar Saga, even though we, we still, we have some poured already. Uh, so there'll be, there'll be some already in colors, but for the, for the most part, they'll be all hand painted. And, um, and you know, it's not a huge run, so we're gonna get those out. That's our next big thing we're working on. And I, I'm gonna say we will be delivering those cases in, in August. The soonest we could deliver them is in August. Uh, so that, that's for that. Uh, the Wave 2 Victory Club, the only way I can do those is in yellow plastic, because uh, I wanna keep that whole yellow thing going, you know, with the original colors. Uh, we thought about you know, doing the, the, like painting everything, spraying everything down with yellow and then painting from there. It don't work. We've tried it. It sucks that y'all, y'all wouldn't like the figures. And I think the victory club figures are some of the prettiest figures we've ever made. Uh, I mean, they just have a real, like a pop, pop art look to them. And I want to keep that. So probably going to be September. I'm going to say it, it, unless they start delivering us plastic in August. So I'm going to say September for those. I'm keeping a, I'm keeping a, a real positive outlook here. Uh, Cause I ain't got no choice, <laughs> but uh, but that's that's the plan. And I, y'all, I never meant to drag anything out. I, I've always wanted to have the stuff made up before we even sell it, but it just don't work that way. It, this this these handmade toys take time, and they're, and it ain't like I've got a crew of twenty. You know, it's 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 me prototyping everything and casting a lot, almost everything for the auction and one offs and stuff like that, and then uh, and special stuff and custom shop stuff. And then Triple A uh, doing all the painting. He does 100% of the painting, except for the the one-offs and the customs and the and the um, prototypes. So it, it's tough. And then the boys, this summertime, and they're gone. They've been they already had a, a seven days gone. They're they're gone right now for five days. So it's it's been tough. We're getting there, but you know, uh, just wanted to let y'all know what's going on. It ain't it ain't slowing my momentum. I'm just saying that that there's a few bumps in the road, you know. Um, let's see. So right now, y'all, we're doing the, the Wing Demon set, okay, uh, from the Dirge, from the Dirge world, the land of Dirge. Um, and those are going great. Uh, I, I, we're getting them all done ahead of time. 
uh, they're, of course, they're full paints, and that's the reason they're full paints because the way that we, we, we're, we're doing it, of course, we're, we're, we're charging a regular price for them too, but uh, they're special. I mean, 20 each. Uh, we've got the second drawing for Caraxis. That's, uh, that's this Sunday right before the auction. And then we'll go on, and I think I'll have Skeksis prototypes at this auction on Sunday. And then we'll do a, a, a draw for Skeksis. Hopefully we'll have all of them out and drawn before the show in uh, the, the, the big retro, retro Expo in Dallas, in Plano, um, on the uh, 23rd, 24th. Because we want to do a couple of custom sets that are like just... OVB is what I, I'm going to get a sticker that says OVB. That means our very best. Like like sometimes when I paint something, I say that's the best I can do. That is the, that is absolutely. I did everything I know to do to make it look as good as possible. And of course, y'all know Triple A's evolution in paint is incredible. He's doing stuff that's nuts right now, um, and that's you know uh, I don't even have to say that, but it's just incredible what he's doing. And and he, we're going to do those custom sets. And I you know I just want to I want to show off. I, we want to have the best show ever. It's 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 the closest show we've ever had. It's the biggest closest show we've ever had. So we want we want to show we want to show Warriors of the Universe off to 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 a, a whole new bunch of fans here. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I, I really think it's going to be like something something super special. Of course, a lot of y'all coming down for it. Um, it's going to be super cool. Um, there's go, we're going to have some one off zappies you've never seen before. We're going to have um, um, a lot of one off stuff. A lot of stuff that. It's just bizarre uh, rarities and stuff like that. And one thing cool, uh, 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 Matt Knapp told me, he said, hey, let's have a live auction Sunday night. Well, I said, okay, so we'll get in uh, Saturday night. And then Sunday, if everybody's still hanging around, we'll have a lot with, every, with a, lot of the, a lot of the bidders that'll, that are usually at the auction. They'll be here in person. And I said, man, that'd be freaking cool. And so that, that's the plan right now. We'll have a Sunday night live auction for a lot of the stuff that didn't sell, you know, because no matter what, what you bring to a show, it, it, you're not going to sell it all, you know. So it, it'd be fun. I think it'd be real fun. That, that's the plan right now. Unless something, you know, unless we all get thrown in jail or something, you know, it'd <laughs> be pretty damn good. Um, uh, okay, so we're going to have exclusives for that show. Y'all know my, my, um, my uh, uh, Space Crusade uh, my little my little segment into the land of, of really knocking off Star Wars. I love knocking off Star. I love Star Wars knockoffs. I love knocking it off. Uh, I got I got some great ideas. We got Texas Bob. It, that's going to be the Boba Fett of the of the group. He's going to be uh, one of our uh, exclusives for the show. There's two Boba Fett actors going to be there, so I think it's really cool. Um, we're going to have uh, Toy Matrix. We'll have them. A a, uh, they're they're uh, 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 exclusive. I'm not going to say what it is. I'll let I'll let I'll show you all the prototypes. Of course, y'all see all that stuff. That stuff will all be getting made within the next 30 days. Uh, we're going to have another exclusive. I'm not. I'm. We're on the fence. Triple A and I had a had a meeting of the minds. You know. Uh, we, you know. We're we're we're, we're we we sat around. Y'all y'all might not know it. We sat around and philosophize a lot. You know, and I, I, I'd say between us, our IQ's got to be somewhere in the 1200 range, you know, so. <laughs> but about a thousand of that's mine, but you know, hey, he does his best. Um, so we, 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 uh, we're going to, we're going to get together and, and do that and, uh, and figure out exactly what we're going to do. Cause we're, we're, we're not sure if we want to do a big monster, uh, something that's that crazy and only have like five of them or do, uh, uh, you know, something, you know, just to figure. So we'll figure it out. Um, hopefully, we're, we still got our fingers crossed. My man in Mexico says it's going to happen. Kutu vinyls, the 12-inch vinyls will be here for the show. That will be incredible. Uh, a lot of this stuff, I'm going to make it available to y'all, like the night before or the day of. I'll take a video, and if y'all see something y'all want for the price that's on the table, I'm going to let y'all buy it because... Uh, it, it's, it's, you know, I want the people that actually come to the show that drive all the way here, fly all the way here to have, you know, first crack at everything. But, uh, after, after a little time goes by and they get first crack, I want to give y'all a crack at it too. So that'd be, that'd be fun. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Wave three. We've talked about wave three, you know, wave three, the prototypes are all done. Uh, the art is, uh, is, is done. Uh, we're, we're, we're just, we're, we're and we're going to do it 
where we're, it's already made up, cases at the minimum of five cases ready to go. And we pop them suckers out and, uh, and those will be lucky draws. And yes, if you're Victory Club members, you're gonna have first, you're gonna, your Victory Club members will be the first people to be available for cases. That's, that's, part, that's part of your membership, you know? And if you don't like that and you're not Victory Club, then join the Victory Club, my gosh. Uh, it, it, uh, every January 1st, you know, we add 10 slots to it. 10 slots, 10 slots, 10 slots. Or there's some people in the Victory Club that aren't that active and you might want to reach out to them and buy their membership, you know? So who knows? Um, uh, I need to get more active in the Victory Club. I need to put more exclusives out there for y'all. Y'all know how I do it. I do it in waves. There'll be two or three all of a sudden, and then you'll go for a month or two and see nothing, and then boom. But still, it's worth it's worth having your Victory Club. You, you're, well, you're guaranteed cases. You're guaranteed uh, so much stuff that other people have to fight for. So that's that's good. Uh, one of the big reasons that I had this little uh, this little uh, talkathon here um, is uh, is wave two survivor cases. Okay, y'all know we saw. We actually, when we did the when we did the uh, the drop for wave two, we sold out of everything almost instantly. Um, uh, we sold out of, in two and a half minutes. We sold a hundred cases, uh, so that that's just amazing to me. I just I just can't even you know just hard to believe, but it happened. Uh, of course, when I say we sell, that means we've had people speak up for them. You know, COVID was 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 just happening. I hate using that word. I hate saying it over and over, but it's a fact, man. I mean, I can't do nothing about it. Um, and it screwed a bunch of people up. A lot of people lost their job. A lot, of, you know. And so a lot of those cases, and usually what it was is the survivor cases, you know, fell fell by the wayside. And so we had a bunch left over. We've sold forty one cases to date of survivors. Uh, now, I was going over the records. I have a ledger with all every figure we've ever made. Every, you know, I keep a ledger of it. Now I don't. I'm not saying I'm perfect because I I'm not the best bookkeeper. Well, so I've screwed up a little here and there, but for the most part, I know what's going on. Uh, after looking at it, we have a possibility because we've sold a lot of singles. We have a possibility of 13 cases that we can pack. Okay. Out of those 13 cases, uh, there's there's like I say that we've sold 41. So there's there's 19, or I say six, uh, cases worth of broken cases, like singles, which will be single black bubbles. Because I got to thinking about the future, like history future. And I said, okay, whoever's collecting survivors wave two, say five years from now, uh, it will really screw them up if the proper number that was supposed to be made wasn't made. Uh, it just won't be right. It, 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 don't, it don't fit. So I told AAA, I said, you know, man, we, we got to finish the survivor cases, whether we sell them or not. If we just finish them and put them in the warehouse and, and maybe bring one out for a show or whatever, we got to finish them. But I want y'all, uh, you know, y'all are my, my, my little folks, man, right here on Facebook. It's, it's just like, it's like y'all been with me since I started and um, I owe it to y'all to, to, to offer y'all this stuff before anybody else can get it or before... Uh, uh, I, I just leave it in the damn, you know, storeroom over there. So we're finishing out. Triple A's been finishing out. Uh, uh, the boys have been casting. He's been painting wave two uh, survivors because there's out of those cases. I, so just just act like there's 19 cases, okay? Even though there's only going to be 13 available because there's there's broken cases, so there's splits. But uh, there's three painted kutus and two EOD kutus unaccounted for. So, I mean, they haven't been placed. They haven't been placed in cases. So they're, out, they're, they're still to be placed in cases. I just showed y'all one, you know, that's going into the cases the other day. That, that incredible one that AAA painted. Um, so he's actually, uh, see, four of six. So uh, four of six survivor. So I'm like, okay, those have to be found. I want y'all to get those. I want those out there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the 13K, we're going to take all the, get all the figures made. We're not selling none until we have them all made up. We're going to package all of them, random shuffle. There's a, also, there's a couple of Barma's cuboids too that are out there. So random shuffle, we're going to pack those cases. Uh, we are going to have a lucky draw for 13 case survivor cases. They're going to be $300 a case because 
everything's full painted. Uh, I'll show y'all. Like, it, it's on another level. Tri AAA said it's the ultimate finale paint jobs for, for Wave 2. But, I mean, uh, the paint jobs are, are like auction material, you know? I mean, they're incredible that he's done on these. Uh, like I say, because they're, it's not colored plastic, it's full-blown paint job on, on each one of these. Um, I just grabbed some examples right off the front of the shelf. We've got a lot of these made up, so we're going to be ready to do this very soon. Uh, I want to have Wave 2 Survivor cases ready for uh, the show also. If if y'all don't, you know, y'all are going to get first crack at it no matter what. Look at the way he's doing Oppressive Troopers' faces. It's just... So if you already have a Survivor case, man, these, this is like having a... a a totally different uh, group of figures. I mean, they they they, they were very different. Um, so we'll have lucky draw for those. There'll be three hundred dollars a case. I'll announce it. I'll put it up there. Y'all can put your name on it. If nobody does it, it don't hurt my feelings. Don't worry. We'll have uh, we'll have plenty of those cases to go to shows with, and there'll be those kutus out there. You know. Now, the remainders and the black clams we'll have auctions for. Like we'll we'll just have one big, uh, one whatever's left the leftover. We'll have a wave two survivor leftover auction, which is all single carded figures, and we'll just start them at you know like I always do, start them at a dollar, and y'all can bid them up. And so and there could be the kutus in those, there could be the kutus in the cases. Who knows? I don't know. But that's five kutus out there, uh, within nineteen black clams. That's pretty damn good odds. That's the best odds you'll ever get for a damn kutu. So, um. I think it has to be done. Uh, I'm not a completist or nothing, I, but I, but I, I, I've ever since I said I'm, I'm just going to cut it short, I feel terrible because I was like, okay, I'm just cutting that short because we won't move on. We can't move on. We got I got I got I got to finish this. So that's we're going to finish it, and that's the way we're going to do it. I'll post some pictures of these when I do the the um, the um, the lucky draw, so y'all can make your minds up. Try not to make this video too long because I think that's the problem with the weather when I tried to post. It's too damn long. Uh, other things coming up, y'all. Uh, hopefully, for the, by the end of the summer, we're going to get a, the Equar and Unicornia 2-pack done. That's going to be lucky draw because we're going to have to full paint them. And uh, I don't I don't even know like what the price is going to be because I haven't got my card back prices or anything. So, that's something. Also, we have one piece of artwork sent in for that. I'd like some more pieces of artwork for that so we could have some, uh, like, random uh, random rarities, I guess, you know, uh, of the uh, of the artwork, like some um, variants, you know, of the artwork. That'd be cool. And, of course, I'll draw one, you know. Uh, I know I don't have a lot of time, but I try to. I, I, I want to draw a header and a card back for everything. Sometimes I just don't have time. Um October, I know it's a long way, but that's when the, the uh, 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 Morgia's Halloween party is going to happen. So you, all those Morglins, the Morgia, the Morgos, all that stuff will be released in the month of October. It will be a total Halloween month. I'm just going to dedicate the month to Halloween stuff. If you hate Halloween, I'm sorry. It's going to be a rough time for you. Um, let's see here. Uh, Morgia family. Uh, the minute the Mugar Saga is done and out, I will start in on the Morgia family. That will be another shortwave. So, like, four figures, small cases, no black bubbles, uh, no black clams. I, I, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, then we're going to do a Swamp Saga, and I don't really going to call it a saga, but it's going to be like a swamp. It, it'll be a short one, too. And hopefully, we can, we can get a little bit of help so we can start... You know, if I had if I had some extra hands, we could do this faster. You know, but I don't got no extra hands right now. Um, uh, need some need, need need another painter wouldn't hurt. Not that actually AAA paints faster and we can we can cast right now. So that's and that that's that's a fact. That's not even joking. Um, uh, and of course I'm y'all know I'm gonna put in little you know like like. I, I try not to get ahead of myself, but I can't help myself because my mind is thinking of all these stories. And, and I mean, the com you know, number three comic book is going to ship here in two weeks. Uh, it's so freaking cool, and it gets me so into it. And Jeff does, has just done an incredible job on the artwork. And 
And, and I just can't wait to get that out there and y'all can read it. And then y'all start seeing, like this comic book, it really starts getting you in to who everybody is and their personalities and what's going down and what's the bigger picture. And, and, and then of course, number four, the picture gets a whole lot bigger. And then number five, it even gets that much bigger. It's like a build up to, I don't know if y'all around back in the day, but I was for Secret Wars, you know, back in the 80s or Crisis, you know, from DC. God, I, I remember the build up is so awesome. And that's a lot what's going on here. Um, a, a big crisis build up. Uh, it is fun, man. And my brain, my brain just going nuts with ideas. Um, but I'm trying not to get ahead of myself, but hell, I can't help myself. I, I get in here and I have an idea to make a new character and it don't matter if it fits or it don't fit. I got to sit down and do it. And, uh, and, and that's just me. And, uh, like, uh, you know what? I ain't normal and I don't apologize for it. So I, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm having fun at this and I, and I, man, uh, I, I got I'm not kidding. I got to pinch myself every day and say, I cannot believe I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm an artist. I'm making toys for a living. Uh, and, and I know, hell, I just know from the, 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 the companies and the people that have contacted me that this is going to be so big. It's just, you know, it's just when, and it, it's just the right thing. You know, when it's the right deal, when it's the right thing gonna be so big there's gonna be movies tv shows it, it'll it'll be everything it just trust me just hang 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 on hang on man uh, jump on my magic carpet we're gonna ride you know i mean it, it, it's just really great uh, and i and i i'm i'm uh so thankful yeah i really am i i and i and i do i man i'm a i'm a i'm a kiss the ground every morning kind of guy you know i'm like man thank god i'm here thank god i'm doing this you know this is great uh and i thank y'all because without y'all 